Well, after nearly a decade of the Madison Food and Wine Show, Madison Magazine is bringing it to a whole new level this year. The first annual Madison Magazine Festival of Food starts today. It's a week-long celebration that will spotlight Madison's most drool-worthy <laughs> local cuisine. Rachel Tatchy from Madison Magazine joins us to tell Welcome. us more. About it. Welcome to Live at Five. Thank you. So how is the Festival of Food different from the annual Food and Wine Show that you've been doing? Sure. This festival really focuses on the local Restaurant tours, chefs, distilleries, breweries in this area, and it really highlights them. And it also highlights the entire city of Madison as we move every day to a new venue. So it's very unique that way, it's very local, and the food is so high quality. So you can go to something every day? Correct. And yes. What kind of things can you sample? Sure. So at every event, we have different restaurants participating, and they they come from. So we have you know the very you know high end you know sort of merchant Lombardinos, and then we also have you know fun places like Gigi's Cupcake. So you get a really nice wide array of food at every single event. There's cheese. There's great beer from all different breweries, distilleries. That sort of great thing. Well, we're such a foodie city, and this is a neat, a neat idea because you get to meet the people who own these individual establishments. Exactly. You can have really quality conversations with the chefs, you know, with the people who own these businesses. Every event also has really great live music, and so it's a great showcase of Madison and all that it offers. And it started today? Today started the Locavore Lunch Series, which is like our restaurant week with a really local slant. And then Wednesday kicks off our actual event, starting at Hotel Red with our festival premiere. And then the next day it's at Overture Center with our Best of Madison Taste. On Friday we have Dueling Chefs. Saturday we have a biking event. And then that night is the Grand Taste at the Chasen Museum. And we wow. cap off the whole week Sunday with the cheese and charcuterie taste at the University Club. And tickets are still available except Correct. for the, the, the dueling chefs. chefs. That has sold out. Okay. Well, Boy. speaking of, that was always one of the highlights of the Food and Wine Show, one of the favorite things, and they brought it back this year for the dueling chef dinner. The head chefs of Bunky's Cafe and Eight Season Grill will go head to head using selected ingredients from the Willie Street Co op. We met the two chefs to talk about the competition and who will be crowned culinary champion. <laughs> This is exciting for me because A, we do it all the time, and B, it's just fantastic to put a lot of local ingredients together and create dishes that you know your customers are going to enjoy. You know, It makes it a little bit more fun, too, outside of the norm of your regular menu and things like that. I've competed in the last two years, and it's been a lot of fun. I mean, uh, the competition's a lot different this year, but it should be interesting to see how it works out. I but, uh, can break into a sweat just thinking about the mm -hmm. pressure of this. Mm -hmm. Does that uh, excite you? Well, You're not intimidated like I said that. before, the the thing was was we do it right there. We cook right there, and now we cook at our restaurant and bring the food. So it's a little different. There's ten ingredients. I mean, you have to pick a minimum of four. Um, I'm thinking about doing a little bit more than four just to try and, you know, bring a little bit more of a competitive nature with the ingredients to the table. Uh, but a minimum of four, and it could be any of the sort that you see sitting in front of you. Or, Jesse, could you use all ten if you wanted to do that? I'm sure if you had to, yeah. Um, like in the other competitions, uh, sometimes there'd be one ingredient, sometimes there'd be two. You'd have to, you just have to make it work. But it was like that. It was more like a time thing, so 30 minutes. Did you do <laughs> ten last year, too? No, it was just one, usually one, but there'd be like a separate ingredient box okay, that yeah. you could like pick from sure but you would only get judged on the like one ingredient but sometimes they'd bring two and you'd have to either do a plate with each because it was like two plates and like four of each plate so yeah. it was more like a like uh, Iron Chef type of a competition. Got it. Somebody walk me through these ingredients. Come over onto this side of the table <laughs> uh, and sort of give me just the short rundown about what your options are here. Well, it looks like we got some different hot sauces, local apples, goat's milk, um, flavored butters, peanut and almond, and uh, like it. <laughs> a couple different ones. Uh, <laughs> syrup, mustards. Um, kombucha? Kombucha, now, yeah. What is, what is this? Uh, that's actually a rutabaga. Yeah, I knew that. I was just telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what this was. Is it a real advantage, though, to know your ingredients ahead of time? You don't know the secret ingredient, but does this give you a big advantage to know? I think it, I mean, yeah, it's, it gives you an advantage for sure, but it's still, um, like, it's, you have a week to get it ready versus <laughs> get it ready so what do you yeah it gives you it, you know what honestly it depends on the person every chef is different you know every person's different I need a little bit more lead time which is nice to have a, a, a start with this but you know I think there's a lot of people who are far more talented who can be able to look at an ingredient take an hour and then be able to create a, a fantastic dish out of it mm -hmm. so you won last year it's your title to defend yeah yeah we'll see what happens <laughs> <laughs> 
The Festival of Food begins today and runs through Sunday. There are events each night at different venues in Madison. The Dueling Chefs Dinner unfortunately is already sold out, but tickets are still available to all the other events. And Rachel, do you have to buy one ticket at each venue or you can buy one for the whole week? Both. You can buy one to each event or you can buy a VIP ticket on our website and that will gain you entrance into all of the events. MadisonMagazine.com all the information. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Rachel. Have a great event. Have a great week. I'm, I'm hungry just thinking about <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs>